Anna, would you consider yourself to be the artistic type? Yeah, well, that would depend on your definition of artistic. No, well, I'm talking like the classical fine arts definition, you know, like song, dance, sculpture, painting? Painting, yes. The blank canvas, the palettes, the oils, yeah, the acrylic, yeah. dirty smock, uh -huh. and one of those cute little berets yeah. that they have in Paris. I mean, Treja Lee, Danny. Treja Lee. Oh. But um, alas, I do not normally get to paint, like ever. So I would if I could, though. Oh, but you can, because I know of a place where you can release your artistic expression through painting and have a great time doing it. What? Just like those other guys. What other guys? You know, like Rembrandt, Picasso, yeah. Yeah. Banksy, Van Gogh, George W. Bush. If you're looking for something fun and different to do with your friends, this is the place to be. And the best part is, you end up with a cool painting to adorn your wall which in itself is worth the price of admission alone. So we're here with Sherry Cavusi, owner of Painting with a Twist. Sherry, thank you for having us. Hi, it's my pleasure. Thank you for coming. So what can you tell us about Painting with a Twist? I mean, what's what's the twist? What are you guys doing here? Well, the twist is we drink while we paint. We are originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. This has already sounded fun. I don't, this is, <laughs> it I'm is on board. It is definitely fun. Ladies love it. They come and meet friends, um, take part in a creative experience, have a little wine or beer, and just have an all around good time. The founders of the company um, were friends and right after Katrina hit that area, um, they wanted to do something fun just to get um, their friends to come over and de-stress. So they put on a painting party, um, had people just come and paint for a couple of hours, listen to music, and they realized that it was relaxing, so they just continued to do it. And then in 2009, they actually formed a company and started franchising around the country. So Interesting. here we are in California. And the cool thing about this is, this is for everybody, right? I mean, you don't have to be an artist or be an excellent painter to to show up. I mean, this Not is almost geared towards the opposite, just for the average person, right? 99% of the people that come here have never held a brush before in their hands. Really? So, yes. So you get to come and try something new. So speaking of new, when someone walks in who's never been in here before, what are some things they'll experience? So at first, fear, maybe trepidation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, sometimes they get a little bit um, scared by the art they see on the wall, thinking, I'll never be able to do that. Right. But we tell them that you're going to be recreating the art with an instructor step by step to okay. um, have a little bit of wine or maybe some champagne, loosen up, listen to the music, get into the zone, and in two hours they'll be very surprised with what they can do. What if someone has no artistic ability? I mean, none. We love that. We are not all artists, okay. but everybody is a creative person, so we help them tap into their creativity. Nice. And they may decide that they love art, or they may decide they'll never hold a brush again, but at least they had good time for two hours. <laughs> right. So, exactly. so they're going to have fun either way. Either way, yes. Okay. So our demographics are obviously over 21 because we are a bar, but typically from 21 and up, a majority of our guests are ladies, okay. although we do have a lot of guys coming in and finding that it's surprisingly a fun activity for them too. Right. They know they're going to have beer, so at least <laughs> they're the, happy with that. That's the yeah, that works. <laughs> yes. um, we have date nights, we have mom's nights, girls' night out, we have that's a cool. lot of birthday parties, okay. so different bridal themes. showers. Okay. Mm -hmm team building events for companies and corporations that are in the area. Wow, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. I like that. We have a monthly program called Painting with a Purpose. We um, join with a local charity and um, help them to raise funds for their cause. We've done um, animal shelters, animal rescue. The last one we did was parrot rescue. Okay. Oh. So we do it on a local level and a national level. So and you that's guys really are important. helping people everywhere. We, in the, yeah, in the shop here, outside in the community. That's yeah. great. Yeah. That's a great way and to we are the largest employer of artists outside the school system in the country. Really? That's important. Yes. There's a lot of artists out there, I'm sure, yes. would love to make money. They do. They really would love to have the job. And you're always looking for artists to hire. We have a calendar of our events online, so everyone can just look online and see if there's a painting and a day that they like and they okay. sign up. Um, private events, you can call our studio and we'll arrange to have just your group in the studio. Oh, wow. That's you fun. get to pick your Very painting. Very cool. Okay. And it's just you and your friends having an enjoyable time. So I was picturing more like classical music and just like <laughs> calm. Brace. But it's not, yeah, berets, I really was. Um, that doesn't sound like that's the experience I would have. We can have that experience for you if you want to do a private, private party. Yeah, yes. Private, yeah, private. Tell us what kind of music you okay. want to listen to and what kind of environment you want and you got it. But for the most part, we play upbeat music and 
and I like dance. that too. That's like cool. sing along? What? Really? That's like cool. I can get up while I'm painting and I could just do a little. Do a little a tap lot of dance. people have a I hard time should. containing themselves really? when they're in their seat. <laughs> okay. The creative she experience might. brings it out. I love dancing. I love I, I love the idea of painting. Never really tried it like this, so I'm super excited. It's a, we'll, we'll get you on stage maybe and do a few moves. Oh. Really? Uh oh. You yes. just made her I'm day. totally good with that. Day. Do I get to keep the painting? Yes. Or okay. you definitely get to keep the painting. So you get to take it home. Wow, oh, that's fun. Hang it up hopefully and show it off to your friends. I'm gonna know. be the instructor for your event okay. and I'll be keeping my eye on you. Don't oh. worry. We'll, All right. we'll, go, we'll do this together. I need you guys to grab an apron. Make okay. sure your okay. clothing is protected. Sounds good. Grab your canvases, set up your easels and your stage. Before we start. Perfect. Okay. All right, let's go. Big okay. Kit. All right. As we sat down to get started painting, it became obvious to us that we were in a party atmosphere. The group of ladies we were sitting with were celebrating a birthday, and they were a blast. Groovy tune, a full wine bar. Yes, you could say they like to party here at Painting with a Twist. Yes, cheers. Well, here's to uh, our painting today. Cheers. Cheers. All right, we're gonna get started in a minute or so, so grab your drinks and head on back. Have a sip, you're gonna need it. We're getting into the nitty gritty. Okay. I decided to employ a cubist, abstract, expressionism style to my painting. Which is to say, I have no idea what I'm doing, and that's what the end result will probably look like. I know that Danny was taking his painting seriously, but I decided to just have fun with it. That way, I could explain to people why my painting looks like two spaceships in the sky, instead of flowers. <laughs> I ran out of white. <laughs> Are you really running out of yeah. white? Yeah. <laughs> I want to see yours though. I was starting to feel pretty confident about my work. I wonder how Anna's is coming along. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine saying it's ready to breathe. Now it talks to you. Hey, you know, it came to life. What can I say? It's not me. My hand was just the vessel. The music here is great. This is how it's done. At this point, I can't decide which place to send my painting to. The Guggenheim or the Louvre? I don't know, I don't know. When do you stop perfection? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. Forgive yourself a good hand. Thank you. Thank you. So I, I had a blast creating this, Sherry, and I'm ready to, to get your feedback. I can't All right? wait to see it. Let's see how you did. Because I'm hoping it's better than this one. So here we go. You ready for the big reveal? Close your eyes. Close my eyes. All right, here it is. Oh, you actually have a dandelion. I'm so happy. You did very well. Never painted before? N well, not like this. I need little watercolors when I was a kid. Watercolors but when yeah, you were a kid? Yeah. I think you did good. Oh, All thank right. you. So, okay. I think you have stiff competition. All right. Let's see what's going on. Here's mine. Here's mine. Are you ready? I'm ready. Can't wait. Ooh. Uh -huh. Oh, my what do you gosh. Think? That is so good. Do you like oh. it? I love it. Look at you. Well, I had a lot of fun with the whimsical graph in the background, you see. <laughs> Do you see the focus? I see it. So I think you are an absolutely fabulous artist. Thank and you. I think you have a lot of potential. <laughs> <laughs>
No, but the important, thing is, the important thing is that you have fun doing it. I did, I had a blast. If we were able to give you a little spark of artistic creativity, we did our job today. Yeah, absolutely, so. I can't wait to come back. So I'll come back, okay? We can't okay. wait. Bye. Thank you so much, Sherry. Thank you. Alrighty. Ha <laughs> ha